Hey everyone, it's Thursday the 4th of May and it's now 5.45 in the evening. Right, today's video is going to be a die cast video. Um, I've got a bunch here that I'd like to show you, including a box which I've literally just gone to pick up. Uh, about 40 minutes ago actually, I went to pick that up. Um, and there's some stuff I got from eBay here and there's some stuff from car boot sale. I mean, you can guess the box I got from the die cast guy, in fact this one as well, there's a cardboard box behind it. Um, so I'll show you those, but before we get into that, I thought I'd just talk about my collection because I've been a bit busy with it. I've been shuffling some of the shelves around and just changing how the display looks and what's on display and whatnot. Um, yeah, but I do have a question for other collectors out there. So let's get that out of the way with first. What are your preference preferences when collecting? Um, by that I mean, do you have a preferred brand or a brand that you only collect? You know, do you only collect Matchbox or Corgi or Lido or Majorette or perhaps it's uh, like 118 Barago models or something like that? You know, do you have a preferred scale to collect? Um, condition. Do you have a preferred condition, like, do you already collect mint examples, or does it have to be boxed? Does it have to be a mint box, that sort of thing. I'm just, I'm just curious about other collectors and what they like to collect. I mean, for me, it's a bit of whatever, really. That's the best way I can describe it. It's whatever tickles my taste buds. Whatever I come across and think, oh, I quite like that model. So, brand's not important. I mean, I've got loads of Corgi. I've got loads of Majorette. I don't have many Majorette on display, though. I've just realised most of those are actually in boxes under the bed. You know, I've got the old Husky before they became Corgi. Um, I'm now building a collection of Dinky Toys. Um, you know, scale doesn't bother me, really. Although, I don't have very many of... You know, the 118s like this one. Mainly because they do take up so much space. I've got a few and I've got a handful under the sofas as well. Just because I've got nowhere else to put them. Um, actually, I think my big caddy up there is um, a bigger scale. Or is that Ferrari 120? Uh, Ferrari might be 124. I can't remember what the scales are now. It's big. <laughs> um, <clears throat> condition is not that important to me either I'm not going to say it's not important to me at all because it is um, I mean I will buy you know some play worn examples as long as they're not completely trashed unless I see some potential in it for parts and it goes in the scrap box um, for the parts and whatnot. But yeah, other than that, it's just like an anything goes for me, really. Um, you know, I just randomly look about on eBay and on Marketplace and whatnot and at the car boot sales and if I see something I like, I'll buy it. Anyway. <clears throat> um, I also have my favourite castings that I can't resist but to buy. Such as this Opal Diplomat. I've actually got, I think I counted eight of these. And some of them are in different colour variations. I mean, if I show you these two, you can quite see that the one in my right hand here is a lot darker than the one in my left. Yeah, that's my right and my left, not the camera right and left. And I think that's going to be flipped. <laughs> um, I mean, that's actually, it's not mint, but it is, in my opinion, quite a nice example. And that one, again, not mint, but still a nice example of that shade. I think I've got another couple of shades. Yeah, I've got another one that sort of shade up here. In fact, I think there's at least three different shades. I mean, this one could essentially go in my scrap box because it is quite rough. And I actually have just remembered I've got a ninth, which is in the scrap box because it's missing the uh, hood. 
but I keep it because it's still got good glass in the windows, it's still got good interior, and it's still got good wheels. So if I actually want to restore one of these, because this one's got some damaged windows, I've got the spares. That's why I keep the scrap box. And uh, I do have some examples boxed. I'm sure I've shown them on the channel before. I got this one recently, actually, um, last Saturday at the car boot, Alshu car boot. 15 quid that cost me. I don't know if I would paid a bit too much for it, but I don't care. I really like the model and it's going up on the shelf with the others. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm trying to slow down now on buying, you know, the little individual matchboxes and corgis and whatnot, because I have got loads. Major it would be different, because that is the smallest out of that, you know, the matchbox scale. The small one, but I can't remember what the size is. That size. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have that as many major it, but corgi quite a lot. Uh, matchbox, shed loads. Actually, I got to the point where over the weekend I had to sort through all my matchbox, again, all the boxes under the bed, and managed to fill yet another box with duplicates that I wanted to get rid of. And then I took them all into the kitchen, split them up into piles, photographed them, and I've got 12 lots up on eBay now. All with bids apart from one last time I looked, which was about this time yesterday. I'm telling lies, it was um, probably closer to 9 o'clock last night, I checked. But I haven't looked today, so who knows, bids might have gone up. Um, I did get offers on a couple of them, £1.50, but they put that offer in on the job lots where the vehicles were very good, examples very good, very clean. Um, but... As I started all lots at 99p, and that's all the bids were at last time I looked at, might have come bit me in the arse. Maybe I should have accepted the uh, offer. However, this is my own personal rule. I know other eBayers, if they get a good offer, they will end the item. But because they had bids on, I didn't want to end the um, auction. <clears throat> that's just the way I do it personally. Like I said, I've seen other auctions end because they've got offers in and whatnot. Because they have that, you know, um, start bid or make an offer. Anywho, I just want all of that out of my way because the biggest problem is if you collect the way I've been collecting which is like buying a shoebox. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see the corner of it, you know. Full of assorted die cast. I don't even know fully what's in that box myself. Not yet. He just showed me a photo on Facebook earlier. Asked if I was interested, so I just had a quick look. I'm like, yeah, I can see a few in there that I wouldn't mind. You know, it was a tenner, so. <laughs> um, you end up with bucket loads of duplicates. Because I will admit, I never actually wanted to do any selling in this hobby at all. I just wanted to collect, but uh, I kind of forced myself into it. Um, but I've always said I've never been into it for profit or anything like that. I'm into all my hobbies because I enjoy them. You know? Um... Yeah, I know some people do the hobbies and like to make the profit on the side as well. Which is fair enough, I've got nothing against that, you know. A lot of the time people will do that and then what money they earn, they put back into the hobby. Lots of um, AFOLs in the LEGO community do exactly the same thing, you know. Which is why they buy multiple of a certain set, so they've got something to sell on in the future. Because um, once a LEGO set becomes retired, you can actually ask a higher price for it. <clears throat> and uh, you know a lot of AFOLs will pay that higher price not ridiculously high you know not like what scalpers do 
I'm not going to get in the scalp scalpers because it'll be a whole rant on its own. <laughs> Pardon me. Any hoozle. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I missed. Um, I do have a new display that I want to show you, but I'll have to pause the camera momentarily so I can move you because it's in the hallway. And it's actually a little display case I bought for two pounds at a car boot three weeks ago. I can't believe it was three weeks ago. <laughs> three weeks? Two weeks, something like that. I can't remember. Right. <clears throat> I suppose I should show you some die cast. And I'm actually eager to look in that shoebox. But we'll get this lot in front of it out of the way first. So this one isn't new. This is one I've had for a while. But there was another one of these in this green tub that uh, the die cast guy offered me the other day. Which is why I bought it. Or one of the reasons I bought the tub. My one here didn't have tyres. Well, actually, I had three missing. I'd managed to find three, needed three more. <laughs> um, and the one in the box was in far crappier condition than my one. So I swapped the tyres. I've actually super glued this one on. And unfortunately, I've super glued the damn thing on wonky, so I might have to try and break that. Oh. Never mind, I've straightened it up and it's still on there. But I glued that one on because it kept falling off, and that drives me nuts. That really, that really does drive me bonkers. I've got quite a few Matchbox models, you know, with this style wheel on, and I think I've glued most of them on for that reason. Is that my super glue lid? It is. I do exactly what my stepdad does with super glue. I, leave, I lose the lids. And then the nozzles dry up, and then you end up with a blocked nozzle. See, I just thought I'd show you that one, which is now complete. I'm really happy about that. In fact, I just remembered I did swap bases on this one as well, and I can't remember why. Oh yeah, that was it. This one actually didn't have axles either, originally. And I had another one that had the axles that was missing this bit of the, of the body. So I literally drilled the bases on both and put the good one on here, then found up the tyres to put on it. So I've essentially built a built one up. But you wouldn't notice I'd done that unless you look at the bottom and look at that rivet, because you can see I've drilled it. That's what reminds me, actually. I was just looking at the bottom and I was like, oh yeah, swap the bases over. <laughs> um, I need somewhere to put these, but I've got Dinky piled up behind me. Oh, that reminds me, I've actually got another one over there to show you. That's new. I've got this uh, um, from the car boot as well because the guy I've been buying a lot of die cast from, the die cast guy as I call them, he also does a um, store at Alsham Car Boot. So some of these in this first box I got from him from the car boot, not from his home. So this one was another one from the car boot, from him. It's got one of the outriggers snapped off, but everything else in it is a dinky. I don't know how old this one is, but that looks quite military to me. I know it's not in military colours, but it's just the style of the truck. I don't know what the truck is. But the whole style just says military to me. Oh, I can't see it. I'm not actually sure that's thinking. I'm thinking that's Matchbox. Where's my magnifying glass? I'm having doubts now. Servicing platform. Made in England. No, it is dinky. Them wheels look just like Matchbox, like that um, refuse truck I just showed you. That's what got me um, questioning it, actually. There aren't any more hiding over here that I forgot about, is the... Um, 
Yes, there is. I'll show you those in a minute. We'll get through this box first. All right. Uh, now this one came from a different seller on the uh, car boot. It's a nice Biffa refuse truck made by Korg. It's a bit dirty. I do need to give it a clean. But other than that, it's in pretty good condition. A few marks around the edges. Uh, and from that same seller, I actually got two ambulances. Uh, which are in the bedroom. But also got these two Corgi Transit vans. And the AA van's missing its light bar. And I've got an AA van in the bedroom, but it hasn't got this style livery on. This is the later livery. And I think... Someone has stuck a number plate on that because that says EK51. This style of transit is not that new. <laughs> this is the Mark III, which would have been the earlier part of the 1990s, well, no, 1980s actually, because it took over from um, the Mark II, obviously. Hence why it's called the Mark III. Yes, yeah, so I think someone may have uh, put their own number plate on that one. Uh, and this one I actually got from a different store for 20 pence. It is missing a tail light and it's missing a glass at the back window. But in one of my boxes of Corgi under the bed, I do have a scrap Range Rover in there. And it should be in my scrap box actually because all the wheels have collapsed. You see, this is actually sitting nicely. Actually, this one's done it. But on my other one, it's an ambulance one which I've got a bit much nicer version of under here. Yeah, I've got to scrap one of these basically. Missing all the light bar. Paintwork is completely stuffed on it and the wheels have collapsed. But it's got that tail light and I believe it's still got a glass in the um, tailgate. So I will swap them. It's a shame this one wheel has done that. That's what the wheels have done on the other one. <laughs> Actually, I think it's the back wheels that have done it. And, uh, yeah, I'll get this one fixed and I'll put it on the shelf with the other two down there because I've got a police one down there as well. Because even though it's got that funky wheel, that does still um, sit all right. There's another one I got from the uh, diecast guy when I went to see him about a week ago. One of the very few new diecasts that I won't open. It's going to be um, pinned up with my other. Mark II Escort from Hot Wheels. Up on the shelf. Right. Now I think, he, yeah, his next one's on top. I did get from the diecast guy, but I got them from his uh, car boot store. Uh, oops. So we got Bedford uh, TK, a refuse truck. Which will actually go quite nicely with my TK Crane, which I also got from him um, a little while ago now. But I've got the crane truck as well. And it's still got all the strings attached to operate it. Only one winch though, only one winch handle. I don't know how you operate the other one. Oh, I see how it works. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I see. <clears throat> Not in bad condition. Again, you know, that is that is um, fine for me. That sort of condition. That's complete. I do like them complete if I can get them. We've got a little um, Austin Healy. He's had this for quite a while. And I thought, you know what? It's not really my cup of tea. That sort of car, but it is a dinky, and I want to add, you know, to my dinky collection. So I think that was only. It was this one and another one that he charged me a fiver for, and I can't remember what the other one was. Oh, it might have been this one. Actually, yeah, it was this one. Ford Capri. And this one did have tyres on it, but the tyres I've stolen for another one. Because this one's actually a repaint. Someone's repainted that red. So I thought I'd keep hold of that as a restoration project. project. For as and when I've come across a set of tyres. Um, anywho, 
still keeping with his stall. Oh, the tyres for the four, that um, Capri went onto this. So I just thought this one looked a lot better and deserved a more Vauxhall Victor Estate ambulance. It is a Victor, isn't it? Yep. So that I will put on display at some point with the um, dinky mini police car that I've got over there. Right, that's an empty can. Then we've got a Dodge truck. Sorry, I've got an itchy lip. And a Bedford truck. I don't think I like that green. <laughs> but I do like that be um, style of Bedford truck as well. I don't know why I'm stacking them all up there. Uh, Oh, yeah. What's left in here is actually stuff that came in this green tub now when I went to pick that up uh, a couple of days ago. We'll just adjust the camera. That's better. Um, and I've got lots of Corgi, but I really want to add models of this sort of era to the collection. I want to add some more, preferably complete with tyres, at least. Paint-wise, not too worried. But I would prefer they had all tyres. This one came with one missing and I haven't found a replacement. I haven't got one. I thought I did, but it was too big. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know why I was going over there with it. The camera's here. <laughs> anyway. Corgi uh, Jeep conveyor truck. I wonder if it's probably for an airport. Yeah, I didn't know Jeep made vehicles that looked like this until um, I found these. It's complete with tyres, it's got the spare tyre there as well. Unfortunately the conveyor is broken. There's no belt and one of the end bits is missing so the roller's missing as well. But I still think that looks good. Uh, this one will probably end up in the scrap box. There was tyres on this one but I can't... Oh yeah, that's right, I've just looked in there and found um, where I put the tyres and you'll see why I put them on that one. Someone's done a very bad yellow paint job on this. I have got the tailgate. That fell off in my hand actually when I went to open it. It hasn't broken. The clips are still in there and the bar is still fine on it. It's just fallen off. So I'm not sure what to do with that one. I suppose I could keep it as a possible future resto project. If I could find the tyres, that is, I mean, I think that would look nice with a, a decent paint job. This is the one I put the tyres on. What is it? It's a Hillman, I think. Yeah, Hillman Husky. Could do. But with a new paint job. Because it is missing quite a lot of it. But. I think when you get a toy as old as this is, I think. I prefer them play worn. Because to me, they've just got that. A certain charm to them when they look like that you know it's got all the signs that a kid once upon a time or maybe kids because maybe it got passed down generations and sold on um, you know kids in the past have enjoyed it is what I'm trying to say Looks a bit like a London cab from behind, doesn't it? Speaking of, I have got one here. Missing its tyres. <laughs> very dirty, very worn out. But this is a Budgie Toys. I didn't know, I knew Budgie existed. I don't think they exist anymore. I'm pretty certain they don't exist anymore. But I didn't know they made this sort of scale toys as well. Um, so I'm going to keep that. I'll go in the scrap box for now, out of the way. But I think that would be um, quite a challenge to restore that. Considering it is so rough. <laughs> um, I've got another duplicate here. <coughs> which I might throw in as a freebie with the other box of uh, Matchbox Super Kings. So I put a job lot of Matchbox Super Kings up on eBay as well. Um, or I could just keep this for 
the next load because no doubt there will be another one at some point in the future. But I've already got this one, is it on the shelf over there? No, it's not. I've got a crane over there, but it's not this one. I think it's the yellow version of it with the uh, removable tyres. Yeah, it is. I'm going to have to check my box of king size through the um, in the bedroom there. Just make sure I haven't got the orange one before I get rid of that. I thought I did, and I thought I had the. Uh, actually, I'm pretty certain I have, and it has got the hook on it. Um, but I will double check. Um, it's got a broken dinky trailer. Another one of these. I think this is my third Matchbox Sea Kings. Uh, we've got a couple of these which are by um, Crescent Toys. I'm pretty certain these are meant to go together because you've got like ammo box on this and then you've got the field gun, which works. I had one of these some time ago, but I don't know what I did with it. But it does work. You've got a little thing there that you pull back, right back, and then you turn it to lock it in place. You load something in there. A little nail, tiny little nail maybe. I wouldn't recommend a nail though. Um, matchsticks were quite popular. You'd load something like that in there, then you'd just go ping and fire it across the room. You know, and really piss off your parents because there'd be matchsticks laying everywhere. Or uh, whatever else you could find to use as a projectile. Unfortunately, this one has actually lost its uh, towing eye on there. But it's still got it on this one, so these two will still... I'm assuming that's how that would have gone out in the field, you know. You had like a little jeep or something pulling it. Which I haven't got. So... Not usually my sort of thing, but I will keep those. My second one of these, although my first one, which is on the shelf in the bedroom, doesn't have these wheels. It's got the later wheels on. So this is an earlier version. And I was going to get rid of this until I saw them wheels. I was like, nope, that's a different version. And it's got the wheels that steer on it as well. My other one doesn't. And just a little uh, model of yesteryear as well. That's in reasonably good condition, so I'm going to keep that one. Now, it's not something I would actually go out and look for to buy, though, but I do tend to keep them if they're in reasonably good condition and I get them in a job lot or something like that. Right. Put all these back in here now. Because I need a bit of the room. Those ones I'm going to move over there because they're out of the way. Right. Now, the next three are eBay buys. All three of these, there's another one hidden there. So that one, I was just searching um, model ambulance on eBay because I sat thinking last week, you know, that I didn't have many model ambulances of this sort of scale in the collection. Very few, actually. Um, so I went looking on eBay and some of them were bloody expensive. Nice looking models, but bloody expensive. And then I found this one for less than £10. Advertised as a Ford. It's not a Ford, it's actually a Renault. That's a Renault front. But never mind. I could see that in the photo. It was an easy mistake. Um, I also thought that was actually quite a nice looking model. It was actually by Husky. Probably not the original Husky, as Corgi took those over, you know, decades ago. Um, yeah, who knows? Virtually mint. I can't really, I can see some dirt on it, but no paint chips or anything. Feels good enough quality. There's the Husky Ambulance, it's all it's got written on it. Would have been around sort of late 1990s, early 2000s when we were just introducing the green and yellow Battenbergs on the ambulances and the yellow nose. Um, before we went, you know, to the whole thing being this all over. Oh, and the chevrons on the back. 
Now these two dinkies I actually got from the same seller. I just realised I've got Denny in it, but never mind. Got the Ford D series sweeper, which is missing its drive belt. There's meant to be a little belt that goes from this rear axle and around two pulleys up this end. So one will drive this brush here and one drives this one. That belt is missing and I don't know if there's any way I could replace it. Not easily, not unless I can get a back wheel off so I can move the axle. Around the brushes might be easier because this bit screws on. But I'm not going to take this one apart. I have got a completely scrapped piece of poo in the bedroom. <laughs> it's got no tyres on it. The tanker keeps coming off of it. The cab is completely beat up and even half the door is missing on this side. So I think if I'm, I think I'll experiment on that one and take this section off of that and just see how easy it would be to change the belt on it and to put a new one on. I'm sure I could find like an old radio belt or something. I've got a pile of replacement radio belts through there. I could maybe find one that'll fit it. And from the same cellar, I've got this lovely little Bedford um, refuse truck. And it works. I'm just going to turn it around and show you first actually. You've got the little crank handle there. If I crank it, I don't remember which way to go, the body does raise. Not very far though, if I go too far it just gets stuck and won't come back down. Unless I put just a little bit of pressure on the top. But yeah, that still works. I, can, I don't know what decade these uh, models are from, or this era of Dinkies from, you know, the red wheels. 60s maybe, maybe earlier, I don't know. I'm by far an expert on, well not an expert on any of these actually. Um, but either way, considering how old that would be now, that is in damn good condition. And everything opens on it, all these slide doors open on it and close. That one opens and closes. Rear one opens and closes when I figured out how you do it. <laughs> I thought that was stuck yesterday, but that was just the user being a dipstick. Yeah. And I have literally just won another model from the same seller. Um, it's actually a Ford Transit. That reminds me, I've got two more dinkies up here to show you that I got from um, not last week's car boot, the week before. Um, it's a Transit van. I don't know if it's the Mark 1 or the Mark 2, but it's the Yellow Highways maintenance van. It's in pretty good condition. It's 16 I think, but it was worth it. And again, I was the only bidder. I was the only bidder on these two. I just stuck bids in, you know, the bare minimum bid, thinking, you know, I'll probably get outbid when, <laughs> within 10 seconds of the auction ending. No. Anyway, just before we get into the other box, there's another guy that actually comes from here, North Walsham, he lives here, um, who sells a lot of various toys and die cast on his stall. I've got these two from him. Now, that's the second Rover SD1 from Dinky I've got. The other one is not a police one though, it's just a plain, your plain Jane basically. There it is. It's just your civilian version. That one's your police version and it is in very good condition. Worth the tenner in my opinion. I've just realised I've got both got the same bloody number plate. It's been cloned. DKY 180. What I don't like about this is why did Dinky do this? It's just clipped on that light bar. It just clips over the edge of the roof. Why? That is annoying. I, I wanted to glue it, but then I thought it might devalue it if I do that, and I don't want to. You know, it's lasted this many years stuck to it like that, so... Yeah, that's the Mark II, that one. Mark II Transit. A little bit, uh... A little bit play-worn, but all the stickers are there. The ambulance sticker on this side, whoops, is a bit worn. But I really do like these dinky transits. That's why I've got the other one. I'm actually watching at least one more model from that seller as well. 
but I think that ends in like three days, so I'm not going to wait three days. I'll pay for this one. That, and I may not even decide to put a bid in on this other one. It's a little lost in van. He's got uh, a lot of various stinky on there. Right. That's better. Put these over. I need to have a shunt around in my displays again because I really I want a display from the dinkies. I've been trying to think what I could do with the shelves here. Not a lot unless I did away with one of my um, fire truck shelves, which I don't really want to do if I can help it. I don't know. I'll have to have a think. I was also thinking of getting rid of one of my police shelves as well. Or at least making some room on it, uh, just because um, there's some models on there I don't want on display anymore. Right, now there is two models in here that I actually bought when I got there that weren't part of the box deal. They were separate and it was this lovely little Tonka van. I'm not really in a Tonka but I just thought that was um, a charming little thing for two pounds. I don't like the front, it looks very futuristic doesn't it? Um, we were trying to figure out what decade this would have been from. 70s maybe, maybe 60s. I actually think he was right, probably 60s. But I'm not an expert on Tonker either, that is in very good condition as well. And the other one because I haven't got it, was this um, Ford A series, not a Mark II Transit even though they look alike, the A series is actually bigger, the um, Avis truck rentals, I know Majorette did a couple of vans with the Avis name on, I think he's right, I think the uh, rear doors are supposed to open, but I can't, oh, 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 oh. No. I'm telling fibs, I've got one to open, there's two to open. Um, I don't know what's in there, I'm not really sure I want to know what's in there, but it looks dead. Um, I'm not even kidding, it does actually look like it's something that's dead. So we'll close those back up and we'll just pretend we didn't see that. I'll empty it out later. <laughs> and we'll put that there. Right, so this is the box I've got. There's a bit of a mix in here. There's something in here that actually, yeah, it does. That looks like that could be a 176 scale for the model railway, for the oil gauge. It's quite crap though, so I don't think I'll be using that. Oh, the blue lights have broken off the end of the light bar. That's what it is. And the light bar has just come off in the hand. <laughs> well, I suppose if you really want to, you could just repaint that white or any colour and, uh, you know, then use it on your layout. I know someone that might like that then. If she's willing to do a bit of painting with it. What's it? Oh. Mm. That'll be another one for another Super Kings job lot. Because <laughs> I've already got that in more or less mint condition as well. I've um, got some odd Hot Wheels here. I was one of these ones that's meant to light up. And of course it doesn't, so the batteries are dead. I've got a couple of these Hot Wheels, so let's see if I can get that to work. No, it's one of their fantasy cars, but the fact it lights up, it stays. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> what was Hot Wheels going with for that then? I'm sure that's Hot Wheels. Looking at that base, it looks like it's an older Hot Wheels. Yeah, but it's a Hot Wheels. Two thousand, according to the copyright on this.
X8 me. Is that meant to be something like Excite Me or something? Huh. It's in very good condition for him. If it is as old as that, can't really go by the copyright date. Because that, that's just indicating when the copyright started, but this could have been released, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six years afterwards as well. In various different colours. It's what a lot of these manufacturers do when they put out new ones, they sometimes they just change the colour of an existing model. I think that is the Toys R Us giraffe on that, I can't remember his name. I think. Now I've got the bloody theme stuck in my head. I thought I had this one, but now I'm not too sure. The big pig dogs. The colour looks familiar, but the big pig dogs doesn't sound familiar. No, I don't think I've got that one. I think I've got it in a similar purple, but not quite. In fact, I know I've got one in a similar purple, but it's not quite the same. Who that is made by? I was going to say I don't know what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> it's a nice little casting, though. If it was Matchbox, it'd have it under the wings, but it hasn't got it, so it's definitely not a Matchbox. It's nice, though. Uh, I guess I sound surprised because I didn't know they did anything like this. I think... I think that's a Tiger 1 tank. I think that's what that's meant to be. I'm keeping. I like it. <laughs> got a bent gum though but it's only plastic so I'm actually wondering if these manufacturers make things like that out of plastic deliberately so they flex less likely to hurt a kid another plane here another plane with nothing written on it but it has got US Air Force does anyone know what that is what type of plane that one is wheels. It's got it written on the bloody tail on a vertical um, stabiliser. That's what I've heard some plane guys call it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, is that an original? Got like a little micro machine in here. They sell for quite a lot of money now, especially the originals. couple of minis. This one looks like it's a Maisto version of the mini. And it's in very good condition. Is it a Maisto version? I know I've got one of these, but my other one is actually quite crap compared to this. Uh, it doesn't say. It just says Mini Cooper in China on it. I'm sure Maisto did that many. I'm going to keep that one simply because it is in way better condition than my other one. Oh, this is a Maisto one. The BMW Mini. I'm not keen on that design of Mini. I'm not going to say I hate it, but it's just not my favourite. I think I'm too old school when it comes to Minis. I'd much rather have, you know, an original. 
and that one is actually based on the older one because if you look at the door you know probably the original mini actually because if you look at the doors hinges are on the outside very early minis had the hinges um, the door hinges on the outside oh this one looks like that's fitted with two two fuel tanks because it's got a fuel cap either side that's a maisto as well I still don't know if it's Maisto or Maisto, because I'm sure I've heard some Americans call it Maisto. I don't know. I've always called it Maisto. I actually used to like them when I was a kid. I still do like Maisto, but I'm not sure if they still, you know, manufacture... What was that, an airport fire truck? City of Phoenix. Sky Harbour International Airport Fire Department. Ooh. The wire I couldn't read shit like that back then either. That is a Hot Wheels that I've already got. That one is a fantasy one that I don't want. That I'm trying to read upside down. Yeah, Toyota Super. I've actually got this hand in this colour. So that's a duplicate. And that fantasy one doesn't appeal to me enough, so they can go. <laughs> I know I've already got two of these, and one of them's actually fallen to bits. <laughs> I wouldn't mind restoring at least one of them to original, so I'm going to keep that one. Because if I don't restore that one, it's full of parts from the one I, the other one that I want to restore. When I can spit the bloody words out, holy moly! <laughs> that? that looks like a Mazda. A Mazda logo on the front. Yay! RX-7. Don't know who made it though. It doesn't say who made it on the bottom. I just realised it's um, getting a bit darker. And I've only just realised, how I didn't realise at first, I don't know, but look. <laughs> I've got two of them. <laughs> I didn't realise I had one in each hand either. Hang on. I'm just going to turn the main light on because that got dark a bit quick. They reckon the weather is meant to turn. Um, I do quite like the casting, but I don't need two of them, do I? That one is marginally better. There's a lot of difference between them. I like this. Like a Hot Wheels custom of, I don't know, like a Mustang maybe or a Camaro hiding under that. Does that actually say? No, it just says horseplay. <laughs> Copyright 2004. H27. It looked like it's actually been written on there. Or actually printed. You know, in ink or something. Um, I actually quite like the horseplay one. That one can stay. Uh, I think I've got that one. It looks like I might have to go through all my Hot Wheels again. There's three bloody huge tubs to go through. Uh, this has got something like an extra wheel underneath it. What's the purpose of that? <laughs> I just flipped a little switch and it just popped out. And... Oh, is that so you can pose it so it looks like it's doing a wheelie? Is that what that's for? Well, that's an interesting little one then. I'm going to keep that. It is a Hot Wheels. It may have one in the box, but is it a Hot Wheels actually? No, I don't think it is. Can't see a Hot Wheels logo on it. Oh no, it's Mattel. It 
It's a shame the stickers have all been worn off on either side though. There you go. Disney's cars here and I can't remember his... Lightning McQueen, that's it. <laughs> I knew as soon as I started saying I couldn't remember his name, I'd suddenly remember. Uh, I'm not really interested in him. I think I've actually got one somewhere. A diner truck. Pretty we didn't get the trailers with these. Uh, just a generic made in China tow truck. Oh, that reminds me of it. Reminds me of one of them. What do they call them? A K truck or something? Them tiny little trucks that the Japanese build. That's what that reminds me of. Perhaps it is what it's based on. <laughs> We've got a couple of these um, Corgi cabs. I've actually got the Weetabix one. But these are handy to have if you come across an odd trailer. So uh, That one I've got. I know I've got that one. I think that's a real toy, that one. Yep, real toy were at one point Action City as well. I think we went through a few names. Oh, I can't remember his name. He's from Thomas the Tank Engine, though. Oh, now the question is do I keep it or do I get rid of it? Made by Ertl. I'm looking underneath for the engine's name, and it's right there, right on the side of his. Um, what was that saddle tank? I think I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep Ben. You can stay, dude. <laughs> what have we got? Mercedes police car here. Missing some roof lights. Car's in good condition though. Is it made by anyone? No, it's just got Made in China written on the bottom. You can see it's based on a Mercedes, but it doesn't say it anywhere on there. And they've left off the Mercedes badge as well. But you can tell it's based on a Mercedes. This is a nice Porsche. Porsche Boxster. China. I think that's a Maisto as well, like the Mini, it just hasn't got it written on the bottom. And that was just rolled off. Ooh. And believe it or not, despite these castings are not that rare for Matchbox, I've seen people on eBay ask insane amounts of money for these. What they've actually sold for, I don't know, I've not looked, but from what I've seen people asking, it's ridiculous, even for one in this condition. You just thought that was something like highly rare with what some people have asked. What we got? We've got a handful left in here now. Uh, I thought that was a Ford Focus at first, but that's not Ford Focus rear end. It's a Tomica from Tomi. Subaru Impreza. Now that is rare to find Tomica over here. I know they're quite popular over in Japan. So I think Tomi is Japanese. I think. Is that a Plymouth? Chrysler? <laughs> oh, Chrysler 1997 is the copyright. It's made by Hot Wheels and it's a Dodge concept car. Interesting little casting. Got another fantasy car here. And it looks like it is meant to light up because I have seen a battery pack door underneath it. So um, the batteries haven't leaked everywhere. We should be alright. We've got 2005 on the copyright. 
McDonald's Corp on this one. That's a little McDonald's toy. I bet that was made by Hot Wheels for McDonald's. This one's interested me. The doors open? No, they don't. Oh, yes, they do. You see, that's a nice blue Jaguar. That's in mint condition as well. But when you look at the base, it's just got a cheap, generic, you know, made in China base on it. But, it's not that light. It's not that heavy, but it's not that light. It actually feels like decent quality, to be honest. Well, you know, for a generic Chinese model, it's meant to be a Jaguar. XJS, maybe? Or an XJ12, if I had the V12 in it. I used to have one of these, but I don't know if I've still got it. <laughs> so I'll have to check. Uh, is that a Maisto? It is. We've got a Maisto Beetle. My sister loved that shape, actually. Now, I prefer the original. What we got here? Are these more f Hot Wheels Fantasy cars? Yep. Or at least one is. Doesn't say what it's called though. Uh, now this is made in Malaysia. That's a fairly recent one. I'm not really interested in that one either. So that one, I'm not really interested in this one either. But I couldn't see Hot Wheels or anything on the bottom of this one. Is that another Mackie D special? Let's just get into the lights so I can see. Made <laughs> for McDonald's, 2006. Vietnam? Made for McDonald's, Vietnam TKK. TKH, rather. Okay. That's basically a Hot Wheels toy again, just made, just made by Mattel, which owns Hot Wheels. Oh, two of these. Two Fire Chief cars. One that looks like Motor Max. Yep. So we've got that sporty looking one made by Motor Max. I quite like that. It looks like it's meant to be um, a Japanese car of some sort. This one, I'm not sure what this one is. I bet that's not Motor Max though. Nope. <laughs> it's got nothing written on it. Exact same light bar though, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was made in, a, in the same factory. Right. I've got four more. Then that'll be it. These are just like uh, your generic Chinese models from the look of it. Although the racing car might not be. Yep, that's just got made in China on the bottom. What's that? That's a BMW. But again, you know, just a, another generic Chinese manufacturer. And you know, you can see it's a BMW. <laughs> I've got the Corgi version of it. Um, <clears throat> Corgi did a few versions of it. You can quite clearly see one of the headlights. How have one of the headlights been broken? Look at that. I'm just going to show up on camera. <laughs> you can clearly see the BMW grill there, but I've just left the BMW name and everything off of it. It's the same with this van. You know, even the guy I got it from said, you know, Mercedes van. It could be a Volkswagen, actually. Safari. Right. Now this little um, racing car is intriguing. No tyres are coming off. Well, they're not tyres, they're actually plastic wheels. Plastic wheel over a plastic wheel. Yeah. 
Victory 11. <laughs> if that doesn't say knock off, then I don't know what is. It hasn't got good year written on it, it's got good time. Victory 11. Runner. I'm not sure what that is. No, I'm not kidding on the title, look, it's got good time. Look very much like a good year symbol. <laughs> Chuckle. Right, that is everything. I'm not going to put them ones in the box because uh, I'm going a box in there which I want to get rid of. It was actually going to be a box that I was going to take to the car boot, but because my mum is trying her best not to drive at the minute because of a shoulder injury um, I mean she's already scraped the car on a wall once not done a great deal of damage it's only minor it can be easily fixed but she thought it was probably best not to until her arm is better so um, I doubt we're going to be doing a car boot for a while and maybe not even one this year so but a friend of mine who I mentioned about selling a um, die cast he actually said could he buy a box so I thought, well, I can't sell the matchbox because that's on eBay now, but I've got that box for the car boot. Big old box, you can have that. <laughs> if he wants some, there's some. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll leave that on the side there until such time as he wants to get it. this one in that box for and I'll just put it a scrap because it has got a bit of damage there. All of this bit is all bent upwards. And yeah I'll put that in the scrap um, the kit super king scrap box. <laughs> the message on Discord while I've been filming. Sorry guys, I've been busy. <laughs> we'll reply to that in a minute. Right. Ooh. Bang on an hour more or less. Can't believe it's taking that long just to go through some die cast. Oh well, I'm ending the video here anyway, so thanks a lot for watching everyone. As always, I'm going to leave uh, links to my other two YouTube channels in the video description down below. Uh, as well as a link to uh, the Discord server, so feel free to uh, check all those out if you'd like. And uh, maybe consider joining the server and hanging out with us on there. Ow. I don't know how I got that cut there, but I've got a paper cut. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.